Hello everybody, it's me, Mr. AKI, and we're back with more ASF World Cup action, when we're on to week three of the first day. And, as I said previously, we are moving into the land of gimmicks, which means there won't be no pinfalls or submissions in these ones, or countouts or disqualifications for that matter. There is the current scoreboard, Shadow is leading the way. Um, can he continue his dominance? We've got two matches coming up here. The first one will be between my team and Warriors team, and the second one between Manic Maniacs and Shadow Strikers. And the gimmick for this day, because there will be themed days, is going to be tables. So we'll be having tables matches. The first match being first of all to a finish, and the second match will be two out of three falls in terms of table rulings so just to tweak it up a little bit but in this opening match we've got sudden death rules and of course Eggman insisted that he was in this table match for our team but who from Warriors Warriors will he be facing in our opening tables match it's going to be a fun week to say the very least I'm sure for all of us but there are eight points on the line for each and every match so this is definitely where the points matter because this is the last week where one can acquire points. So at the moment of course I'm sitting solo here until Eggman joins me a bit later if he survives this match. But he likes to brag that he's the table master. I don't know why he didn't want to enter into the 2 out of 3 falls table match that's after this. But it's probably because he wants to enjoy calling it uh, a bit later on. See if he can score eight points for whoever he's facing here. I have faith in him, of course. That's why I chose him. Might, might as well. I needed a table expert, and I guess that was him. I can't think of many other table experts in the SF, but this may be one. A former hardcore champion here. It looks like it's going to be the team captain for Warriors Warriors, and it's Wario himself. Who is the team captain? Yes, that makes sense, doesn't it? So it's going to be Eggman versus Wario here, and the uh, the fat is sure to fly. <laughs> I'm making a very bad joke here in the early going. This is not good. <laughs> but yes, table match rules apply. First person to put their opponent through a table with an offensive move will win the match. And that table uh, a break can occur anywhere in the arena. It can even happen right here at our announce table. Well, my announce table at the moment, it's not our one. Negman's busy being in the ring. Well, we'll see if Eggman can proclaim that he is the table master. He's had some bad experiences with tables in the past, but that's probably because he tried to get so much involved in them. Who can remember back at Armageddon as uh, we start things off here, where uh, I think it was Aki and, uh, ironically, Wario, who uh, did, did a double team on Eggman through a table. This may be sweet revenge for Eggman. Hey, well, look out. Eggman got a bit of flight there somehow. The strength of Wario there with that back body drop. And Eggman going, doing some more flying. Warriors trying to confuse him there. Don't know what happened. Threw him to the floor instead. And the action has already started fast and furious as it should be. Here in the SF as the table has already come into play. The weapon of choice for today's action. And, oh, Wario. And Eggman trying to fight back here. And, oh man, inverted atomic drop. And, oh, man, Egg Eggman loves that combo. It is a very vicious combo. Go downstairs and then a straight kick into the face. And I thought he was going to close in for a victory already there. This can be almost a sudden death environment, can these table matches. And, oh, man, Wario again downstairs. Oh, man, another, once again, I told you he liked it. Another shot in the face right there. Another dastardly combo by the... Ring Savvy Eggman. And again, nailing those shots. Wario back to his feet. Irish Whip into the ropes. And, oh, I think that was a counter right there. No pinfalls in this match, though. 
No pinfalls throughout the whole of this week. I bet you'll be interested to, see, to hear what other matches we have lined up. But we'll wait and see for that one. And we will be having a bonus Fatal 4-Way on the weekend as well. So this is going to be a very extended week. Because there's going to be three days. Well, nice T-Bone suplex divided by Eggman. There's going to be three days of gimmick matches and a fourth bonus day with the Fatal 4-Way, which is certainly going to be a last chance for a lot of people. But it's all revolving around gimmicks. This first day, of course, involving tables, I'll let you know. Uh, you'll will, you will be informed before the end of the night uh, on what the rest of the themed days we've got coming up. Oh, man. Warrior reversed a suplex, turned it into one of his own, and now he's got this table setting it up in the corner here. That's the idea of this match. Oh no, he might have walked straight in. Oh man, to the egg driver. That's an evil move and Eggman seems to be very satisfied with that. With himself here. Setting it up near the corner here. Don't know what he's got planned as he picks up Wario. This is going to be the finishing blow. He's got Wario on the table here. Uh oh, this is not... Uh oh, wait a minute. He's throwing him off the table. What's Eggman doing? He's having his way with Wario either way. Wario's not getting any rest from this uh, constant onslaught. And he better think fast. Uh-oh. This could be it. Oh no, it's Eggman's fall away. Slam through the table. And there we go. It's just like that. It is over. And yes. Eight points. For the AKI Alliance. I think I picked a good partner there for the table match. Oh, Wario. Got crushed and burned on that one. The team captain suffered. Went streaming through that table. Off the the, uh, the fall away slam from the top. Eggman's patented signature. And he comes away with a reward there. Eight points for us, Eggman, to kick off the week. That is superb news. Not so good for Wario. As I believe now, that leaves him at the bottom of the pile, unless I'm very much mistaken. No, it's Manic still, but Wario's not very far, and luckily we're not at the bottom anymore. 22 points. Almost looks like, like it's a sequential order here. So, it's still all to play for, as we move into 2 out of 3 falls for the next match. 2 out of 3 falls, that means 2 tables. Someone's got to go through 2 tables in this next match, I wonder who's going to take undertake, I should say. As ironic as enough as that is um, <laughs> this uh, daunting challenge for 8 points. And it looks like it's going to be Grim from the Shadows Strikers. Eggman's going to be joining here momentarily uh, once he's uh, busy showing off um, and bragging to the crowd. But it's Grim the Hardcore Champion here to undertake this next match. Obviously, Mr. Hardcore, I would expect none other from the Shadow Strikers, but who's he going to be facing from the Manix Maniacs? It should be interesting to see. Grim entering his first actually one-on-one -on -one match here in the, the World Cup. He's been in two of the Fatal 4-Ways. It's safe to say he's not going to be in any Fatal 4-Ways this time around. But here we are. Eggman, come here. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. That was good. You enjoy that one? I did. It gave us eight points, Eggman. Oh, yeah. Eight points. Eight sweet points. From the top rope. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, boy. Well, it's Grim. Eggman for Shadow Strikers. But looks like Manic's going to be taking... Taking up the challenge himself. Team captain here of Manic Maniacs to start off the week for his team uh, into the world of gimmicks. This being the tables match, and not only that, but uh, I, I was uh, correct in saying this is two out of three falls. Yep, yep, because that was the schedule plan, and you definitely didn't want any a part of that. I don't know why. I want to be here with you. As weird as that may sound, but you know, I want to be able to call this match. This one's going to be epic. Certainly is Grim and uh, Manic, both Freedom Movement members, over in Storyline Land. But right now here, they're all about the competition and who can get the better 
score here. But it's going to be two out of three falls. And uh, Shadow's team is currently on the streak of winning. And they have an ability, a chance here. To go further up. Away from the rest of us. Because we all seem to be bunched up around the 20s. Yeah, but if Shadow wins this match. If Shadow's team wins this match. And Grim having his way here. So many belly to bellies here. Overhead suplexes by Grim. In firm control so far of this matchup. But yeah, if Shadow wins this one, it's going to move him very much into the 30s. Because you get 8 points as a result. And Shadow already has 48. Not 48. What am I talking about? <laughs> He's got 24, Eggman. Yeah, yeah, 24. 48. Yeah, that's a lot of matches won for 48. It certainly is. It's like he's won every single match with submissions. Well, so far, Grimm's winning every single match with belly to bellies. He's already had one victory, and that was in effect the first Fatal 4 where we had on the first week. That was well deserved. And, and uh, this is his first singles match. That's what I said earlier. Just making sure. Man, it counters. That shot right there, followed up with a neck breaker. And now Manic looking for some wood, some table hardware here. And Grim knows his weapons, wants to stay away from the table here, it would seem. Yeah, the minute Manic came in with that, that thing, Grim was straight back out of the ring, keeping his distance, playing some mind games almost. Grim's good at doing that. And a big, another clubbing shot. Those are some big heavy blows there, and they're trying to go for another one. Manic able to counter and gave a small little clothesline there. It was a nice little bit of impact there and gave him a chance to pull out. We've got a table underneath the ring from here. And already maybe looking for the victory, or at least the first fall. Yeah, don't forget, two out of three falls. And this this uh, breakage can happen anywhere. Oh, now Grimm's position, Manic, on the table. I don't know what he was planning there. He might have been willing to jump off the top rope like I was a bit earlier. Yeah, yeah. You're not a high flyer, Eggman. I'm not, but at least I tried. Hey, I won. It, it couldn't have been all that bad. Yeah, but the idea was not to high fly. The idea was put someone through a table. These two seem to have the right idea. Hey, I won the match. I know what I was doing. Yeah, sure. <laughs> No, still. Congratulations, three points. Thank you. It's about time I got some praise. <laughs> Grim sets a, a table up next to the ring there. And Manic has found another table under the ring. How many tables does one want? Oh, God, overhead again. Straight onto the floor this time. Almost into the uh, the third row of rings out here. They're dangerously close to us, and we're sitting at a table. We are indeed, and that can be also be used to be put through a, uh, to win this match, is our announce table. That's what I'm going to hate today, because who knows, it might happen. This is two out of three fours. Anything can happen in the air, Ziv? It sure can. And Grim gets back into the ring, in control of this match, so it seems, with a table in hand. And now positioning Manic here on top of it. This is going to be it. He's looking for it. And picks Manic up. Oh, no, he's not going to do this, is he? Oh, God, this reverse jumping tombstone. Oh, God. The table didn't break. How did the, how did the table not break? It breaks from people punching it, for God's sakes. <laughs> yeah, true. I don't know how that didn't break, but you got to feel for Manic now. He's just taking that reverse jumping tombstone, and the table did not budge. That means all the impact's been taken on Manic's neck now. And that's going to cost him. I don't know if that was a plan by Grim, or he probably was hoping to get the first fall over right there. That table must be pretty sturdy, because it took a just it just took a reverse jumping tombstone through it. And oh god, well wow, that table broke, but that was because Grim used it. And uh oh, what is this now? Oh, well I don't look forward to the future generations from Manic. Me neither. After Grim just placed his skull directly between his legs. <laughs> Lots of sexual innuendos coming up here today. Really? 
I've been I've been saying a few. What is this now? Look at this. It's a submission move. This is unique, even though this isn't a submission match. But Manic is going for this bow and arrow lock here. I've never seen him pull this off before. Shades of Lisa, I believe. It was a former Freedom Movement member. Maybe he's telling her, well, they're all part of the same team here for the World Cup, aren't they? Yeah, Manic uh, picked uh, Lisa to be on his team. I guess that's uh, paying homage, or maybe. Or just ripping off. No, I don't think it's ripping off. That was uh, that was interesting. Manic changing up his, uh, his uh, method to the madness. Grim's lying in wait, though, here. And wait a minute! Oh, my goodness! Oh, jeez. Well, it's one fall down. Ned's also manic out for the count. And here we go, straight off the bat. No break. Straight into the second fall. Manic just took a belly to belly through not one, but frickin' two tables. Doesn't that count as two falls? Shouldn't Grim have would have won this match? No, it only, it's only going to count the first break and then the bell rings. And then we get a, at least a, a little gap before the, the second bell rings for the second fall. It does not count, folks. But Manic just took a... Uh, already went through two tables. One position in the corner and one position uh, next to it. And Grim very carefully planned that one out. And has already walked away with the first fall. Now he's only one table break away from getting the lead here. From getting a huge lead for the Shadow Strikers. Manic ne needs to realize and come back here. And Grim picking up with the strength. Slamming him down. I'm getting well into this. Me too. <laughs> we knew it was going to be panic and chaos and disorder. If only chaos was here. Well, he's in the World Cup, so we might see him at some point. Speaking of which, folks, actually, we may as well bring that up. I'm glad you reminded me. Is the rest of the gimmicks coming up for the course this week? As Manic with a uh, headlock takedown initiates on Grim here. As Grim is only a table break away from getting eight points for Shadow Strikers, which definitely no one wants, I don't think. So we're praising Manic in this one. But yes, anyway, coming up uh, on day two, it will be... Uh, wow, did Grim get busted open there? Anyway, I need to cut to the... <laughs> I've been delaying it long enough. Yeah, tell them. Alright, so week two... Uh, uh, week two. Day two... Uh, which will be the next time we come to you, we'll be uh, contesting in the steel cage. The 15 foot high steel cage will be coming down for both the matches. So we'll be willing to see who's going to be stepping into that. And then the third day is going to be ladders. Not just ladders, but tag team ladders. Oh yes. Yeah, two members of one team will be competing in ladder matches on our third day. So that is definitely going to be worth looking forward to. I can't wait. Sounds like some good stuff. And also we've got the Fatal 4-Way at the end of the week, which is actually going to be on the weekend, seeing as we're all full up. Yeah, so we got Day 4, which will be the last deciding week for points. And uh, the Fatal 4-Way will be contested, Eggman, as a last man standing match rules. Oh boy, it's the mascot rumble all over again. <laughs> Except that's going to be a definitely pivotal moment. So that's all to come for gimmick week. We've got tables now and Manic seems to be quite happily going up onto the staging area here. Grim not having any of it though. Retreating back to the ring. Whatever Manic has planned here. It takes a sick twisted individual to plan to put a table up next to the staging area. Intending on throwing someone not only through the table, but preferably off the stage, too. Well, that's Manic, but it's, uh, it, ironically enough, these two are friends. And yet they're pulling on a hell of a performance. And they're doing exactly the opposite of what the anti-heroes will be doing. The anti-heroes don't put on good shows. I know this is nothing about the anti-heroes or anything. But this just proves that the freedom movement will put on awesome matches. Regardless of the competition here this week, even though that's what it's all about, and that's what the freedom movement's all about, is competition. They like to bring out the best in each other, and Manic is they're certainly bringing out the best in Grim. Grim is, for some reason, somehow, he's been busted open. Grim works in mysterious ways, I'll give him that. 
And Manic, oh man, just seemed to bring up, he wants this table match on the staging area more than anywhere else. Or off it. Look at this. He's setting up another table up into the, the, the pit area there. I'm so glad we're not sitting up there today. Yeah. <laughs> well, luckily down here at ringside, I don't know what's worse, really. Oh, jeez. A belly to belly. And back up onto the stage. I think Grim almost got thrown through, but Manic fell through the stage. Didn't go, um... Oh, fell off the stage, sorry. Didn't go through a table, though. This map still continues. And Grim is definitely not wanting to maybe go the length here. He knows it's trouble, whatever Manic is planning. He should be trying to do the same tactic. And, uh-oh, Grim is telling him to bring it here. Here we go. Come back down to the ring. Even if I'm busted open, I'm still going to kick your ass. And, oh, Manic fell for the bait. Got straight back in, and Grim picks him up and slams him down. Manic up the top. Oh, missed. That was a bad landing for Manic. And now Grim positions this fourth table they've got into the corner. Oh man, Manic Manic's back found that table. Luckily, didn't go through it. Just made contact with it. Must be one of those reinforced tables again. <laughs> like the one off the pile driver. Yeah, exactly. They're even worse to some extent. Because at least the table, if it breaks, it takes some of the impact damage from you. But if it doesn't break, then that's bad. Manic looking to position here. Trying to get maintain control. He's obviously got something crazy planned. He's wanting Grim up on the staging area. And now Manic with this grabbing this other table. Guess where he's headed? Man, he is definitely driven to win this second fall in the worst way. If he is gonna win it. That's the thing. Grim could end it any minute now. You just gotta watch out. Oh no! Oh! Straight down, head first through the table, off the stage. And Manic has picked up the second fall. And here we go, it's it's down to one. Who is going to get the upper hand here as we start off fall number three here? Man, this has been a, a very impactful match. Certainly, Grim, Manic's already suffered a belly to belly through two tables. And Grim suffered by falling off the stage. How are they going to one-up each other on this one? The impacts have just got more serious and more deadly as time has gone on. And it's just going to keep getting worse, I feel. This has turned from a friendly bish bash into a into an all-out war and brawl and... Oh, man. Manic goes back out, gets that table, places it in the corner. And Grim now leaves and gets a table of his own. It's all legal, good and fun. It most certainly is, and it's carnage also along the way, and Grim's going to set up maybe this spot again for another belly-to-belly -to, -belly to win the match here. And, oh, Manic standing his ground. Grim also, this is a big counter-war. Look at this again. And, oh, man, just these two can't get into a position. That's what the, this is what the, the epitome of the, what the freedom movement's about. Look at these shots. Look at these vicious shots right in the, right the face, right on the forehead. I bet Grim's trying to bust open Manic. He's already suffered at the hands. He's, uh, the wound's uh, cleared up a bit now. I can't see any more drips. At least. But Grim, <laughs> oh god. I thought it was going to be over right there. Manic punched Grim back off the table. And Manic is feeling perhaps another eight points coming to his team. That's the team we want to win, ideally, because otherwise Shadow's team is going to be way ahead in front of us with those eight points. Like I said, he's going to be marching into 30. And Grim! Oh! Man, oh man. That atomic drop. And now more tables being distributed and brought out into the play here. It just opens up more opportunities with more tables around. Which means it turns even more sudden death. 
if you place more tables everywhere. Wait a minute. Hi, Grim. Grim's up on our announce table here very briefly and now setting up a table right in front of us. What's he got planned? Something just as evil. I mean, <laughs> they've already got... They've already been very innovative with their table offense here. We've seen a belly to belly through two tables. We've seen a someone... We've seen Grim being thrown off the stage to a table. What more can one do to each other? I don't know, but... Uh, should be good. Oh, man. If one can pull it off. Grim with a hot shot off the top rope. And pulling Manic back outside. Obviously, he wants to place Manic. Has the intentions here of placing Manic through the announce table. Which uh, means uh, big trouble for us. Well, it's all legal. I don't blame him for that. Grim's hardcore. He's going to use everything to his, ad his advantage. He's going to use every bit of the environment. And the table fell off, but that doesn't matter. It's still all legal as they're battling. I'm, I'm getting out of here. I'm not. Because Grim's off. Okay, I'm coming back. <laughs> oh. Luckily that table fell off our table, so at least someone won't be taking a serious injury or taking a trip down to the hospital after this. No siri Bob. Grim's got this table again though. And back up onto our nice table. He really wants to drive Manic through this table here. Oh man, the table broke though from Manic's punches when he got back up onto our table. And now Manic. I hope we're buying these in bulk. <laughs> well, I trust you are. Yeah, yeah. I, I knew this day was coming. <laughs> it's been a while since you've seen some tables in the ASF. Oh. Has it? I don't know. I can't, I can't remember the last time we had a tables match. We haven't had a tables match in quite some time. And obviously for a tables match, you need to buy a lot of tables. You need to use a lot of tables as well. You most certainly do. And this table, Grim, is being persistent here with this position of the table on our announce table. Don't mind us here. As Manic crashes off of that reversal of the Irish whip into the barricade. On the outside here, it's almost like a hardcore match, Grim's Forte. All the action's taking place outside where all the hard hitting and hard landing can occur. No, no, Grim's setting up here. This does not look good. He's trying to get Manic into the position here. He was going to throw him on top of the table on our table. It was going to be a double decker from hell. Oh, man. Manic managed to break out of it, though. But still gets a clubbing shot and falls backwards off the table onto the floor. And Grim is being persistent. Really wants to drive Manic here. Oh man, the table broke again. But no one went through it. The suspense is killing me, guys. Get, uh, Grim needs to follow through with this plan. Because he seems to be very persistent at it. Big drop kick right in the face. And, oh, Manic missed with another drop kick. Grim counters with a kick. Oh, and, uh, and that drop kick delivered. Nothing but drop kicks. <laughs> Manic, though, looking to maim. The table is, the, the, is now on our table, is not set up. Like a flat pack. Yeah. <laughs> and Manic just putting his foot into Grim's face here. Uh oh. Is he going to be? No. Oh, man. That's still going to be devastating for the future of Grimm in this match. That sit-down version of the right to freedom. That Manic just gave. Now Manic was probably contemplating what to do next. And being persistent at the same time though. Oh, big clubbing shot again from Grimm. Just bringing all that massive fist down on Manic's head. Uh-oh. This, this may be what Grimm was looking for here. And trying to maneuver into position. Wait a minute. Oh. And Manic has taken over. Manic has taken over here. And maneuvering for position. Oh, God. No way. Oh, God, Manic, don't do it. Oh, my goodness. And Manic, somehow, some way, has managed to come out of this on top. By right to giving the right to freedom 
on Grimm through both the table on our table and our announce table. That was the icing on the cake there for that move. My goodness me. Manic has scored eight points for his team. Oh, my goodness me, in the worst way possible, as if we thought things couldn't get any more extreme. Manic suddenly found himself in control and delivers the right to freedom through two tables. To end off the show, that's revenge from putting being put through two tables at the start of this match. And there you go, Manic has now taken the lead with 28 points. That's going to call it a day for us, to just, but we'll see you on Wednesday for more of this action. We'll be moving into the cage. We'll see you then. Good night.